What's up guys? It is John Muscarello from Side Hustle Experiment. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I am a six-figure Amazon seller. I sell online arbitrage. I also do books. And in today's video, I am going to talk to you about the top three categories I'm selling products in for online arbitrage. I get asked this question all the time. So I figured I'd make a quick video about it. It won't be too long. I'm going to cover... Um, the top three categories uh, where I'm mostly buying them from and to try to help you guys out at just some sites that you might not be thinking about to look at. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I talk about how you can make money on Amazon. So if that's something you're into, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and share it. Let's get into it. So the top three categories I am selling in, I'm going to go in reverse order so basically the one i'm selling the least of to the one that i sell the most of so number three would be toys um i don't sell a ton of toys but i am selling a lot of legos um so that is mainly what that's made up of um legos i'm buying from target walmart uh even lego.com all of those sites have sales on Lego sporadically. There are even um, sales that, there are even Legos that aren't on sale on Target and Walmart that are very profitable on Amazon. You really just have to search. One of the best ways to search for them would be reverse searching. So basically going to walmart.com, typing in Lego, and basically just typing into Amazon the set number or whatever it is and seeing if there is a big difference in price or a small difference in price. Um, you could use a tool like SellerAmp if you want. There's a free trial uh, in my bio in the description below. And I like Lego a lot too is because it holds value. Um, so that's uh, that category, toys. The second category is apparel. Um, I've actually, when I started this, I was like, I'm not selling any clothing or shoes or any of that kind of stuff. I, I haven't sold shoes yet, but I was like, I saw some stuff that was selling for good ROI. So I decided to start buying it. Uh, most of it is Nike. So if you're gated in Nike, uh, that might not help you, but there is definitely a lot of, um, good apparel brands to look for nike under armor adidas uh, i think champion i've only really sold mainly nike but there are definitely a lot of listings um a lot of people i don't i'm um, typically buying from websites but a lot of people talk about the nike outlets um you know uh, marshall's and all those places they also sell brand name clothing uh, so those are some other places you could look. I mean, that's RA and not OA, but totally up to you. But apparel has been um, pretty good for me. It is kind of annoying because this, a lot of the stuff you will have to poly bag. A lot of the stuff does have suggested retail prices on it, which you'll have to rip off. So just heads up on that. But the ROI could be really good on making anywhere between 5 and $8 per unit on it. Um, so yeah, check out apparel. Might not be the best bet for you if you're limited on capital. Each of those items cost about like 30-ish dollars, uh, unless you're buying like something really, really small, but that's that. And the thing I'm selling the most of right now is pet products. So I have a dog um, and there's just a lot of stuff that we actually buy on Amazon and I was like, oh, there's probably a ton of stuff that maybe not that I buy from him, but other stuff that people are buying on Amazon for their pets. A lot of pet stuff is actually really annoying to have to go to the store and get. Uh, sometimes it's just heavy. Uh, heavy items aren't usually a great fit, but I am finding a lot of items in the pet category. A lot of... Um, snacks and treats uh like training treats uh trying to think what else it's hard for me to say because i am selling a good bit um but i would say yeah look at that look at 
uh, toys, look at hygiene stuff uh, is could be a good category. Believe it or not, there is a ton of pet products that are sold um, that are, they could be vitamins, they could be, um, like I said before, treats, just pretty much anything pet related. People love their pets and are willing to spend a lot of money on them. Places I'm shopping for this stuff are uh, Walmart, Target, uh, Chewy, uh, Petco. There's a ton of pet sites out there. I just recently tested a new site um, to see if it would be good. So we'll see what happens. So far, so good. I got one order from them. I'm going to do another test order to make sure they are legit. But you could even just type into Google. And this is how I found the one place. I just put cheap dog treats, cheap cat treats, cheap fish food. You could just keep doing that and see what pops up in Google. Uh, a way to make sure the website is legit. Uh, maybe, maybe look to make sure they have a Facebook page. They have reviews. Uh, I know there's a site called Trustpilot uh, that generates reviews on websites. Uh, you can check that out. Not the most accurate because I have bought stuff uh, from websites that haven't got the best reviews on there, but uh, and it turned out okay. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, those are the top three categories I'm selling in. This makes up about 75% of the things I am selling on Amazon currently. Uh, so I'll go the other way this time around. Uh, the number one is pet products. Number two is apparel. Number three is toys. And I don't know if I mentioned sites for apparel, but you could look at things like um, Dick's, uh, sporting goods stores, sporting goods sites. Think uh, like Bass Pro, and anything along those lines would be a good place to search. And because a lot of people don't talk about them, uh, might not be as much competition. I haven't sourced a lot, a lot on those sites, but I have bought some things from each site and had, I should probably look more into that. But I hope you enjoyed the video, found that helpful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, did I miss any stores? Are there good categories uh, that you're selling? I would love to know. Please like, subscribe, and do all that stuff. Share, and I will see you guys in the next video.